Uh, my name is Dr. Joe Parentelli. I'm the CEO of Posture Toe and the CTO of Chiropractic Biophysics Seminars. And what we have today to show off is the new Posture Screen mobile app uh, by Posture Co. And it's always been a dream of mine to go ahead and have a iPhone device be able to do a postural screening anywhere, anytime, anywhere you have your iPod Touch or your iPhone. So what I want to do today is just basically do a quick assessment of my partner, Dr. Ryan here, and show you how easy it is to use. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make a separate video so you can have a close-up screening of looking at the actual screen itself. But for right now, what I want to do is I want to have the videographer look over my shoulder at the screen so you can see this in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come on over here, and this is the, the fourth generation iPod Touch, and I'm going to go ahead and start Posture Screen Mobile. And one of the reasons why this is so cheap to use uh, for the end user, for the chiropractor or the therapist, is because we have banner ads that are subsidizing the cost of the app to the doctor. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create a name. So I'm going to go ahead and put in his name. And how tall are you, Ryan? 5'11". Okay. And how much do you weigh? About 180. Okay. And then this is key. We're going to capture the demographic information. If this is an outside screening, we want to capture the email address. And I'm going to go ahead and put mine in here so I can open that up later. But you would put their email address down. And, of course, we want to capture their phone number. And if they had pain, which I know Dr. Uh, Smith doesn't have any pain right now, we could go ahead and put the pain scale in here. In future versions, we're going to have other uh, demographic information that we're going to capture. But this is something that you can easily do on a screening anytime, anywhere. So the next thing is we're going to move to one of the portions that I just recently had a patent application on, in for, so it's patent pending, is we're going to use the camera on the new iPod Touch or the iPhone to go ahead and do this all in one. Now you can capture the images at another time, but let's go ahead and focus on this. So I'm going to back away from the, the subject, okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and level, and what we want to do to minimize distortion is we want to get down so we actually can get the whole subject right like this, get it balanced, so that way we don't need a tripod. And now we're going to go ahead and use a proprietary method for calculating known distances center of the image, and then we're going to go ahead and do the side view now. Excuse me. Up, go forward just a bit. Mm -hmm. Right lateral view. Okay. Why don't you go ahead and stick your head out a little farther so we can make it look like a typical American posture. Okay. And you can relax, Doc. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and hit save. And we'll go next. And as you can see, it automatically superimposes a grid on the patient if you so choose. And all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put the dots in. And I'm going to do this fairly quickly. And to do the screening. Okay. And you can go back at any time and change the assessment. And what we're going to do, he has a very large forward head posture here. Okay. And we put the body weight in there because we're going to actually predict the amount of weight of his head relative to his thorax. Now if you make a mistake, all you got to do is zoom in here. Let's move that dot back just a bit. Okay. Zoom out. Now here's the key. This is all free to use unless you want to save the results. So if we hit save the results, it's going to ask you, do you want to use your assessment credit? I'm going to say yes. And if we don't have any cre credits, it's going to bring you to this screen. So let me go ahead and I'm going to buy 100 credits. And now it's going to go ahead to your iTunes account. And if you didn't want to save the assessment credits, you, would, you could bypass that part. But we're going to go back to Ryan's case here, hit Calculate, use one of the credits. And if you look close, it calculated his head weight, effective head weight. So his head weighs 13 and a half pounds, 5 and a half inches forward, so it feels like to him it weighs 74.1 pounds. We have that. We can go ahead and show him his posture. Okay. How cool is that? Now, here's the best part. Let's go ahead and email this to him. We're going to go ahead and email this document to, to Ryan. So now it's automatically generated. And if the person is not in your area and you're doing a spinal screening, you can go ahead and tap into our database of doctors that are structural-based rehab doctors as well. 
but you can bring this up and call this up at any time. If we come back in here and you look, there's the three people that I've done assessments for. So if I wanted to bring in my wife here, I could go in and zoom in and there's her, her picture. Okay. And I could go back in and do another assessment. I could actually go in and edit if I wanted to make sure that I think that my staff member was off with one of those points. I can edit the screening, go back into the front viewpoints, tap to zoom. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and move that point. It recalculates everything and we're good to go. So for more information, if you'd like to contact us at www.postureco.com or email me personally at drjoe at postureco.com. Thank you.